Now, we've seen some big telco bills, but nothing quite like Karen's. How did she rack up almost half a million dollars in a month? How can these little things create such a massive bill? I can't even imagine how you could use that much, let alone the shock of receiving a bill like this. An April bill that's beyond a joke. $465,595.23. No typo, a real charge for excess data. How has it actually managed to do that much data download without bursting into flames? That certainly takes the cake. Hello, hello, hello team. How are we? Special delivery for the Telstra team. And exposes a catastrophic failure from our biggest telco. Their billing process failed. Absolutely a mistake. Their technology failed. It's ridiculous. Their customer service um, definitely failed. I'm just inquiring about the amount that you have charged me. Yeah, so, it's kind of huge. And their management have failed. We really are very sorry for the, for the anxiety and stress this has caused. Mum of three, Karen, is usually charged around $400 a month for the family's phone and internet plan, not 465 grand. Just, how, how does that happen? But sometime in April, her Telstra home modem went into meltdown. Has it been hacked? How has it actually managed to do that much data download without bursting into flames? Um, yeah, I don't, I still don't know how it's happened. There were no warning texts, emails or calls from Telstra, just this wail in the mail. Have you ever thought that you actually might be responsible for... No. $465,000 no. worth? No, not, not at all. No, no, and everybody I've spoken to and said, look at my phone bill, have laughed and said, how is that possible? The salaries of a Telstra executive to be charged to one customer in a month is a, is a new way of finding revenue for the organisation, but it's, it's a shock that no customer should ever have. Tech guru Trevor Long's crunched the numbers. I think if there was actually that much traffic going through your home network, if we're talking hundreds of millions of megabytes, I don't think the average router or the average home network could cope with it. Trevor says, Karen's family would need to spend almost four and a half million hours on Facebook or watch a marathon 30,000 movies a month to rack up such a bill. Well, I know my youngest daughter likes Mamma Mia and she watched that, watches that over and over again, so maybe I should speak to her. <laughs> but Telstra's customer service reps in the Philippines aren't laughing. Ma'am, why is this so huge? I thought that you could tell me that since you're Telstra and you sent the bill out to me. For the past month, Karen's been knocking her head against a brick wall trying to get to the bottom of the beastly bill. Group excess data usage, which equated to $465,127.01. Okay, my God, it's kind of huge. They've taken it as it's still my bill and I'm guilty of that bill until they prove otherwise. That's when the stress and anxiety started to build up and, you know, well, what am I gonna do? Worried about her credit rating, Karen finally thought she was making headway when she contacted her local Telstra shop in Bunbury, WA. Enter jovial sales rep, Robbie. Here's to you, Robbie. If it wasn't for you, I would probably still be on the phone to Telstra, sorting that bill out. Believing her nightmare was over, Karen whipped up a tasty treat for Robbie. Special delivery for the Telstra team. And we were only too happy to help Karen show her appreciation. This is from Karen. 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 Karen received a monthly bill for $465,000. Oh, is this how bad? Sales rep Robbie thought he had mustered up his own piece of divine intervention. Are you confident that you know, this sort of bill is just a mistake? Uh, absolutely a yeah. mistake. Yeah. Um, by all means, it was just a misalignment in the system. Yeah. Um, it's now been resolved. So yeah. as far as we're aware, we're all good and moving forward. 
Uh-uh, not so fast on the fruitcake, Robbie. A day after we visited, Karen received a second massive monthly bill from Telstra and an automated call asking how she'd like to pay. The amount had gone up to 466000 because it had added my next bill onto it. And how do you wish to proceed? Press 1 for a credit card, press 2, etc, etc. Press 3 for an ambulance. Press 3 for... <laughs> So Karen finally made her most important call yet. I said, look, I have had um, numerous phone calls. I haven't got anywhere. Um, I have spoken to a current affair because they are the only people that look like I'm going to get anywhere and help me out with this. There were really two issues. Um, there, was a, there was a system glitch, a system error uh, that created the original problem. Um, and then really human error to not pick it up as quickly as we possibly could. Telstra's Michael Ackland was stunned when we showed him Karen's latest bill. She should ignore that bill um, because uh, it takes a little bit of time for the billing systems to process um, the removal and we have confirmed with her in writing that all of those charges are removed and that she should ignore them. Intriguingly, it's not the first time Karen's been KO'd by her monthly Telstra bill. No, no. A few years ago, we received another bill which was in the $100,000 range. Um, which is wrong. Which was definitely wrong. The current affairs interest triggered confirmation that this baffling bill and charges accumulated since then have been wiped. Michael from Telstra couldn't be more apologetic. Clearly, uh, I apologise, and again, I, I unreservedly apologise. We, we unreservedly apologise for any stress and anxiety that caused. But ultimately, it's compensation because we've all got lives and, you know, this was an added stress that my husband and I just didn't need at the time. We have some more good news. As well as that apology, Telstra has given Karen 18 months free home data to make up for its poor service.